Okay, so wrapping up the music disaster crap, Jason responded to the message. I'm going to go down here and find it. It says, he's, his, this is his response to all of, now I don't know what his response is to Music Master Bash and Blue Frog, but anyway, the messages he sent to you are name calling, which is why the blocking feature was created. Players get mad in the game as it is a war game and we can't take action every time they call someone else a name. As far as Alliance wards go, we leave the monitoring of those up to the alliances for the most part. We feel that if you don't like what is being posted by a member or an alliance, you can take it to the leader and they have the option to remove that player. And if they choose not to, then you have the option to leave the alliance. First of all, Music Master is not in the same alliance as I'm in. We're in separate alliances, so he forced that information on our alliance leader. Okay, and then second of all, just because you have a blocking feature does not negate the rules of someone who has harassment. And then as far as players getting mad, it's a war game and we can't take action every time. We're not the ones that made the original ticket report. I was reported this morning for saying that Music Master is a liar and a bully and was warned for that. Despite the ongoing harassment, which I've proven. Okay, I've proven it all with all of my images and everything that he's seen. And he said, I gave him a warning for this. Please let me know if it continues. So that's what I'm gonna do. It's an on, it's ongoing harassment from Music Master. You lose, everybody's on to his crap. Our leader's not gonna boot us out. And even though Music Master might think, oh, he's gonna be watching her now, I don't really give a shit. I don't care, you can boot me out of your alliance and make me your enemy. Good luck. No one in this game has ever wiped me out. Seriously. Ever. And this is my response to Jason. Your harassment rules are not limited to planet names. While you do offer the blocking feature, that does not negate the rules. So I've provided plenty of evidence of ongoing harassment. This is not an isolated incident. I am under no obligation to block him. But he is bound by your rules of verbal abuse in planet names and in private messages. It's simply not fair to tell me to block him, which I had already done. Yet he continued to harass me by other means, which I've proven. Your refusal to suspend him is suspicious. However, you are acknowledging that he is doing exactly what we are saying he is doing and admitting that he's doing it all based off of his own opinion perception of things. True, it is a battle game, but you have rules which he's broken more than enough to warrant a suspend. You gave me a warning over one planet name. You've now admitted to giving him two warnings, plus advising our own leader to block him. Thanks for hearing me out. I feel vindicated even though he isn't getting suspended. Again, I'm under no obligation to block anyone, but you are under the obligation of dealing with valid proof of ongoing harassment. And so make note of this. Let him keep running his mouth and see what happens. I don't have to block him. They can tell me to block him, but he continues to harass me. Then they have to deal with the harassment. Yep. At some point, it's not going to matter anymore because I'm going to smash the hell out of him. And his little ABC buddies want to come after me? Bring it on. Bring it on. We destroyed five moons at once. We can actually destroy six at once, okay? 